today we are making bubble machines and this is my favorite craft to do with children it's always a hit with a whole range of ages and if you think you are too old or too cool for bubbles you're wrong so let's see what we need first off an empty soda bottle don't throw away the cap keep it because that is perfect for eyes or nose or earrings you can always use it again later so empty cool drink bottle an old white sock you can always recycle one of dad's um, i buy cheap school socks in a small kitty size because um, i use a lot of these but you can recycle one of the socks you've got at home as long as it's mostly white because we're going to paint this right a marker it's an optional extra but it's nice to draw um, with your marker but if you don't have a marker don't worry about it some paint i am going to use neon tempera blocks um, so any water paint acrylic paint craft paint for the kiddies that you've got at home that will do a pair of scissors an elastic band an empty cutter for mommy to use mommy only um, water and a paintbrush some wool this is paper straws different colored paper straws that i've just cut up into smaller pieces some tape and some wool right now we're going to start with our bottle and this is the part that mommy is going to do obviously um, like i said before empty cutters and toddlers don't mix if you don't have an empty cutter or a box cutter a very very sharp knife will do Take that out as far as it will go. Okay. So on your bottle, you've got the small end and the big end. And all you're going to do is you're going to cut off this part where it's closed up. Mind your fingers. Take it off all the way. Let's just close this. Unlock it and pack it away so your kitties can't get to it. Right, so you're going to have a big opening on this end. This is lovely to keep. This, I don't know if you can see here. This makes a lovely stamp for flowers if you want to keep it. Um, I'm turning a bit into a bit of a, a craft supply hoarder, as you, can, as you can imagine. Right, so you're going to take your white sock. And you're going to pull it over the big end of the bottle. Now, from here on, your kitty can do this. This is a lovely exercise um, for them to try and to practice their fine motor skills. So they can do it. If mine is two years old, so he, he doesn't come right with this part. So I do it for him. But if your child can, let them try. So they can do this part. And then you're going to pull it over all the way. Nice and like that. You take your rubber band and you secure it on the end. Okay. So it's going to look something like this. Now this part, we're just going to fold over later on. Now comes the fun part. Now we're going to decorate our bottle. I'm going to use my tempera blocks. And I've decided that I'm going to use neon colors today. And I just want to make a neon rainbow. Oh, before I start, you can draw on yours. I'm going to show you here. This is one I made forever ago. And I put a little face on this one. It does bleed a little bit because we are, we're going to paint over it, but not too much. So you are welcome to put a little face or anything on it um, or flowers. Decorate it any way you want. But today I'm just going to... Go with a neon rainbow splashes, I think. I love these neon colors. They are my favorite paint to use for crafts. So all you do is, I'm just going to show you, all over your white sock. Do this painted and decorated any way you want. Okay, so 
move on. Pink on there. Make it nice and bright. Some more pink. Okay, so I've got the pinks on there. Let's move on to some purple. The colors don't show nicely on the video. I wish you could see these neons. They are gorgeous. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish painting my bottle. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't want to sit there and watch me painting. So I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to finish painting my bottle. And then we'll carry on when we're done. All right. So I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Welcome back. I finished painting my bottle. Have a look really love these neon colors look how pretty you can also paint the flap that you're gonna fold over like that so for now we're gonna leave this one side to dry a bit and we're gonna paint or we're gonna make our necklace that we're gonna attach to our bottle so what you do is you take your wool or string Put it around your child's neck and just measure it for the length. And then once you're done, you put it on an embroidery needle. Now you get these lovely big plastic embroidery needles and they are perfect for little hands. But if you don't have one, all you do is you take a toothpick and some tape and you tape your wool to a toothpick and voila, instant embroidery needle. All right, now on this, you can thread beads, um, I'm going to use these little pieces of paper straw. You can use normal straw, paper straws, beads, anything you've got around the house that you can thread onto this. So your little one can decorate the necklace. You can um, put one or two, make a knot, space them out. And this threading is a beautiful, beautiful exercise for fine motor skills. So. Get them to thread on a couple of beads or things, and we're gonna make this really pretty. I'm gonna quickly put some on here. Some different colors. The green one. Another red one. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. Just gonna show you quickly. Nice, thread it like that. And then once you're done, snip off and throw away your homemade embroidery needle. And then this, you're simply going to attach to the neck of the bottle, like that. Knot it tightly, like that, and voila! A bubble machine that you can wear around your neck. I mean, how cool is that? Flip this over. Right. So you want this small... Okay. okay. There you go. You want this small part of your bottle exposed because that's the part that you're going to blow into. Right. One thing is you want to get your child to practice this beforehand because you're going to inhale with the bottle away from your mouth. Inhale, and then blow onto the bottle. Put the bottle in your mouth and blow really, really hard. They can practice this a couple of times, um, you know, without the, your bubble mix. Because um, if you suck on this thing, you're going to get bubbles in your mouth. Um, it's horrible. It tastes disgusting because it's basically so. So this is my very magical bubble mix. Um, it's the standard mixture that you use in those little bubble ones that you blow bubbles with. You can buy it or you can make it. I'm going to post the recipe um, in the bio of this video. So you can simply make it at home if you don't want to go out and buy it. Now I decant a little bit at a time. 
because a little bit really does go a nice way, a long way, sorry. Um, you need a nice flat container that your bubble machine, the big end, will fit in. And I do suggest that you do this outside. This is, this part is an outside craft, but I'm going to do it here. I've got my trusty plastic tablecloth. Um, so let me just move some stuff around. Right. What you do is, okay. you dip your big end, the big opening in your bubble mix. Let it drain a bit. A little bit goes a long way. So let that drain off a bit. Um, the paint will still bleed a little bit. Um, so don't worry about that. It's going to happen. So remember what we practiced. Deep breath in and then. How cool is that? Kids love, love this craft. And at the schools where we do this, we, we have competitions to see who can blow the longest bubble, stream of bubbles, what do you want to call it? Wreath of bubbles. This is my favorite, favorite craft. All times. And there you go. Please, please, please send me your photos. You can either email them to me um, or post them on Instagram. You can put it on our WhatsApp. Or you can WhatsApp it to me if you've got WhatsApp. You can put it on our Facebook page. All the links are in the bio. Um, but if you want to go and have a look, our Facebook page is Canvas Club Middleburg. There's a couple of Canvas Clubs. So um, definitely Canvas Club Middleburg. That's this one. Um, and send me your photos. I would love to see how you decorated yours. This is my neon rainbow bright bubble machine. And this is my face bubble machine. And this is just a normal, normal, normal rainbow bubble machines. These two... I've been using for a year. Um, I always take them to schools when, my, when we do demo classes and um, they've been around for a while, so they do last. Um, and it's a lovely, lovely, lovely craft. Like I said, I can't tell you how much I love, I love this craft. It's my all-time favorite craft. Um, once again, we've got an occupational therapist write up for this craft. Drop me an email or WhatsApp or a message text me um, if you want a copy I will gladly send you a copy and please subscribe to my channel um, I'll be doing some more crafts um, as soon as possible um, this is uh, my favorite thing to do on earth to mess around with crafts I mean really who doesn't thank you for joining and have a lovely lovely day bye bye